Social cognition is the field that summarizes the beliefs we have about other people, about ourselves, and about the social world. We use shortcuts and heuristics to simplify our view of reality in almost all situations. In fact, it's the rare situation that evokes the kind of concentrated thinking and analysis that we imagine most people use most of the time. Um, it, so so it's, it's ubiquitous. It's uh, all the time. We, for, we use shortcuts. We pare down the social information to its basic elements. Positive illusions are beliefs about the self, the world, and the future that are somewhat more positive than reality can sustain. And they are helpful to people because it, it enables people to shape their reality in a way that is kinder, more gentle than may actually be the case. The links between mental health and physical health are, are many, and it is often the case that people who are mentally healthy have a biological substrate or a biological subsystem that is conducive to good physical health. And so the two tend to go together because they're linked by some of the same underlying biological experiences. I'm not sure that we know yet what the coronavirus and the lockdown, uh, what effects they are going to have that are enduring on the perceptions of the social world. On at least a temporary basis, it can't help but be the case that, that people are more nervous, particularly in crowded situations, when they go to the grocery store, when uh, you know they go to the bank, that kind of thing. Um, than they used to be. You used to be able to go in and, and feel at one with people, and I think those experiences are now quite unusual. Whether that will change and how much after the pandemic is unclear, because it's not clear what after the pandemic is going to look like. Some news stories suggest that this is our future, and if that's the case, then I think the changes in people's social perceptions may uh, come to be permanent as opposed to temporary adjustments made in response to a very frightening event.